Hi guys, well, that's my Audi A6 gone to go back to Germany, sold that and we're now, as we're in Britain, more. We've actually purchased a, a Chrysler Grand Voyager, so on a 55 plate. Uh, we need something kind of big, I mean we don't really need a 7 seater, but the fact is the way the seats all fold straight down into the back of this, it's excellent for carrying stuff around. We need quite a big car for to pull our trailer, so we want to do a bit of touring. Now this, unfortunately, doesn't have a tow bar. It's got a nice wee kick in the back, but someone had done a bit of damage to it before I bought it, but uh, not to worry. It's the Grand Voyager, the limited CDR, it's 55 plate, uh, that I have to fit a tow bar to. Now, the problem is, Grand Voyagers tend to be well known for their rust issues after their, <laughs> like, five year old really. Um, now, for to do this, I have to take off the back bumper, which has the three fittings on here, on either side. There's a couple of clips just underneath the bumper and there's one just somewhere in, in here. Anyway, it's just, just underneath here. No, oh, it's not even in. Uh, it's one here and one there. So these clips have got to come, all come out before the back bumper can come off. Now guys, the easiest way i found to get these screws out with a dumpy screwdriver, but lift the car as high as you can on the axles, so lift the body so the axle stays on the ground and the car is in the air. That way you can get into the bottom screws a little bit easier. If you take the screws out, it's pretty easy, you just ease the end of the bumper out from the side and just gently bring it back. Don't forget you have a plug on this side for the um, sensors, that's for the, the reversion parking sensors. You have to push this clip across and then push this little button here and you can just unplug it from here. This is normally clipped into here when it's in use. So, so that's what it looks like without a bumper. So now is the time to get the tow bar out and see if I can match it up. That's the, the tow bar that I bought. Approximate weight 25.1 kilogram. It's a TCH4 by Totrust Tow Bars. Now, <laughs> it's kind of the package is a little bit battered up. This is how it was when it came. The tow bars kind of broke through on, on the packaging, as you can see. So, I'm hoping that it's all still complete. But that's the way it came, so I don't think there's anything missing. Handle with care, yeah. I had to do it this way because um, I phoned up a few places about fitting the tow bar and say that anything over 10 years old, they just won't do, so, so I have to fit it myself. The box empty, and this is basically what comes. You have this crossbar, side supports, flange fitting for the coupling, and instruction manual. Uh, they reckon it's about an hour's work, but to be honest, I can't see that. Uh, remove rear bumper, two fixings along top edge, four fixings on the lower edge, three tip pins each side. Remove bumper beam and bumper beam support arm. Mm. Okay, that's this huge piece that goes across here. That comes off and doesn't get refitted. Mm. Okay, okay, uh, okay, this. Uh, yeah, it seems simple enough. I wish I hadn't said that, but let's see how we're going. Right, it's going to be fun. I think that was the easy bit. That's the cross beam off the back. It's, uh, it's not actually as heavy as it looks. I expect that to be quite heavy, but it's not actually awfully heavy. So, so that's that off. I think the hard bit is going to be now we have to remove these. These two panels, the, the support arms, they have to be took off. So that's my next job. These were quite simple, just th literally just three, three nuts, a little bit squirt with WD-40 and they come off relatively easily. As it seems Murphy's law has come through again. It's quite simple to fit, you just push them two outriggers in where the old ones come out of. Fold them on underneath, three bolts. Uh, 
taking them off is more difficult because it's 18 mil you need a socket 18 mil for to get into the bolts underneath uh, yeah now you've got to cut the bumper the bumper's got to have a chunk cut out of it for to fit back over where where the coupling now sits uh, it's absolutely bucking down because the seabo wasn't such a great idea because the water's now running off to the top and coming <laughs> coming into the back so I'm probably gonna have to either stop or find a different idea for the gazebo now right, guys between showers I managed to get it fitted it's tow bar on you can hardly actually you can hardly actually see that it wasn't designed to be on there except from the beginning it's, you have to do a little cut in the back bumper I made it a little bit bigger than needed but it's actually quite good for for the cables to fit in easier everything's all as it should be yeah. just have to find something to do with this back beam and the two brackets